Brian said NIL was just Pandora's box to the end of college sports. I don't agree with this, but I think a lot of the fears have been realized. However, I think this was college football's Gordon Gecko moment. Gordon Gecko, movie Wall Street, for those unfamiliar, he walks to the podium at a shareholders meeting, and he is um, hostily taking over a company in the process. But he says, hey, am I greedy? Yes, I am. But greed is good. Greed is right. Greed cuts through. Well, I don't necessarily think he was quoting scripture at that moment, but in some ways in the business world, he was accurate there. And I think he'd be accurate in talking about NIL in similar terms. There was a lot about college football that just needed to be weed whacked, like a sling blade needed to be taken to a lot of the weeds in college football. And NIL has been part good. It's been part disaster because of how it's been implemented. But I think it's leading to something. Okay, We're not out in the abyss. We're not a ship without a sail. It may feel that way right now, but I, I tweeted something out the other day. I'm going to get more into this on the Thursday show. I have never been more confident, guys, that major, major change is on the precipice of happening in college football and college sports because too many people have had their, their shoulders shaken pretty violently by the current makeup of things, and they know we're headed towards a cliff, and they know the only way to continue cashing the checks they cash is to avoid that disaster, and it's coming. It is coming, and it's going to be collective in nature, and I think that what's happening with NIL right now, and the portal, and the college football calendar, all that stuff, I think it is all coming to a head, and it's ugly in the here and now. Just like when you make a smoothie, You ever looked at that stuff you put in that blender before you press the button? That doesn't look good. But when you pour it out and taste it, somehow, some way, it ended up all right. I think the product we pour out in a few years is going to end up being pretty all right. And I think the new age of college football, once you get used to it, and once we get it delivered to us, is not going to be so bad. And in some ways, you may look back 10 years from now and say, Dude, I thought, our, I thought college football was screwed a few years ago. But wow, huh, this isn't so bad. It's different. It's different on the, on the periphery. But at the core, we've been, we've been able to maintain everything we needed to maintain about college football. I don't think NIL is a Pandora's box to anything other than major change. Don't be fooled into thinking all the change is going to be bad. Some of the change has been poor. Uh, d- don't, don't make any mistake about how I feel about that. I'm not in love with some of the currency of college football, some of the current status, not currency of college football. But I don't think this is the end-all be-all. I think we're headed towards a place where we'll all be much happier in the end. 